Today's tutorial is going to be for Flynn Rider here from Rapunzel to add to your Rapunzel collection if you've made my other um, characters from Rapunzel, which are Mother Gothel, Pascal, Rapunzel herself, of course. Yeah. So he is designed by me, so he's my original design, and full credits go to Craft Muse for the basic zoom zoom body pattern. Um, yeah. So yeah <laughs> so materials materials you're going to need are some type of hook i'm going to be using my rainbow loom hook like always you can use a crochet hook if you're better with that whatever you're better with you're also going to need um two beads for the eyes or if you don't have beads safety eyes or if not safety eyes wrapped bands either works you're also going to need a c clip or stitch marker you're also going to need something to stuff him with I'm going to use polyfill like always um, you can use whatever you have in hand um, like cotton balls, napkins tissue, paper um, um, what are those called? plastic bags um, things like that yeah so that's materials so the colors so these are the colors I'm going to use. I'm using the cocoa color for his hair. This is a skin tone from the skin tone mix pack. You're gonna need some black. Um, some, I'm using the jelly turquoise as well as jelly burgundy and then light beige. And I think that's all the colors, yeah. So that's the colored materials. Now we can get on to making him. The account will be in the description below. But we're going to start by making his arms and legs. So his arms and legs are both magic rings of six stitches. Two of them are going to be in brown and the other two in skin tone. So I have the ones in brown are for the legs and I have those done. And then I have one in skin tone for the arm. So I'm going to show you how to make the other one, the other arm, and then you pause the video and then go ahead and make the legs and other arm you have to make. So for your magic, I'm going to start by wrapping a band around your hook two times, then sliding, or not sliding, grabbing another band and pulling it through that cap band, doing a slip knot, going to go back into the cap band. And then you're going to grab another band, slide it through the cap band only, reclaim, and then slide the top band through the bottom too. And repeat that four more times. Okay, so now you should have six stitches. <clears throat> so you count the V shapes here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then put that on the hook. So go ahead, pause the video, make your arms and legs for him, and then come back when you're done. Now we're gonna start making his body. So row one is going to be a magic ring of six stitches in our skin tone color. So go ahead and make that.
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Put my Z clip on. So now we're gonna do row two, and row two is going to be an increase around to get to 12 stitches. So. So now you should have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we're going to move on to row 3. And row 3 is going to be single crochet around, in single crochet increase to get to 18 stitches. And we're also going to be placing our eyes in stitches 3 and 9. So, yeah. So first stitch is a single. Second stitch is an increase. Our third stitch is going to be a single and we're also going to add the first eye here. The fourth stitch is an increase. The fifth stitch is a single. The sixth stitch is an increase. <coughs> The seventh stitch is a single. The eighth stitch is an increase. And then the ninth stitch here is a single, and we're going to add in the other eye. And then tenth stitch is an increase. Then 11th stitch is a single. And then the last stitch is an increase. So now you should have 18 stitches. So one, two, three, four is going to be tiny. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is also going to be tiny. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen is on your hook. Row five is going to be actually no, sorry, row four is going to be single crochet, single crochet increase to get to twenty-four stitches. And you're going to need a bit of brown or your hair color. I need a bit more skin tone. Okay. And we're gonna do single crochet, single crochet increase to get to 24 stitches. I think I already said that. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing two brown, 10 of your skin tone, and then six brown. So, 
The first stitch is a single in brown, and I'm doing my slip stitch here because I'm switching color. Our second stitch is another single crochet in brown. Our third stitch is an increase in skin tone. Our that's third or fourth stitch is a single. Our fifth stitch is a single in skin tone. Our sixth stitch is an increase in skin tone. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. Our seventh stitch is a single in skin tone. Eighth stitch is a single in skin tone. Ninth stitch is an increase in skin tone. Our tenth is a single in skin tone. Um, that was the one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our eleventh stitch is a single. And then the twelfth stitch is a increase. This is stitch thirteen, I mean. Stitch thirteen is an increase in skin tone. And then stitch fourteen is a single in brown that that was stitch 14 stitch 15 is another single in brown stitch 15 is an increase in brown a stitch stitch 17 is a single brown stitch 17 is a single in brown and our last stitch stitch 18 is in increase in brown So now row five is going to be single crochet around. Or well, actually you should have 24 stitches now. Count to make sure you have 24 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 and we're going to be doing three brown, 13 skin, and then eight brown. And we're also going to be adding in the ears to stitches four and 16. So in other words, you're just placing the ears on the stitch after the third brown and the stitch before the we do the eight brown, if that made sense. So we're going to start off with our three brown. So one, two, three, and then stitch four here, which is the stitch after the three brown. We're gonna add the ear there. So <laughs> now we're gonna do the 12 skin tone yeah that was one two three four five six 
seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, then thirteen. So switch thirteen. We're also going to be adding in the other ear. So ripping band. And then that was the 13th stitch of the skin tone. So the rest is going to be in brown. Okay, uh, row six is going to be, again, single crochet around to get to 24 stitches, and we're doing four brown, 10 skin, and 10 brown. I have it right here yet. I forget <laughs> what I'm saying. So row six is, I already said what row six is. Um, we're going to start with the four brown. So, one, two, three, four, then we're going to do ten skin. Seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the rest is just going to be in brown. So now we can move on to row seven. Row seven is going to be single crochet around 24 stitches. And we're gonna do four brown, nine skin, 11 brown. So, doing four brown. So 
One, two, three, four. Oh. And now we're going to do nine skin. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight. nine and then the rest is just going to be in brown So that's the end of row 7. So now row 8 is again single crochet around 24 stitches and we're doing 4 brown, 9 skin, 11 brown. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then nine skin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and then the rest is going to be in brown. Now row 9, um, well that's the end of row 8, but now row 9 is going to be single crochet around 24 stitches and we're doing 3 brown, 9 skin, 12 brown. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 
the nine skin tone color one two three four five six seven nine and then the rest is going to be in brown Let's stand up from nine, and then now we're going to go ahead and add his face details. I'm gonna go ahead and add his face details, which is pretty much just his eyebrows and his nose. That's about it. So yeah, so his eyebrows, or actually we're gonna do the nose first. I'm moving my phone. Okay, so for the nose, we're gonna do the nose first. I already said that. Uh, you're going to slip knot two bands together. So two bands together like that. And you're going to have another two bands. Wrap those around your hook once to create a figure eight. And then grabbing all that and wrapping it around again. And then you're going to slide all this onto the bands we slip knotted together. And then now you can go ahead and place this where you want it. I'm going to place it under the magic ring right here. Okay. So then I'm going to flip that inside out and then just going to go ahead and tie that. And then now we're going to go ahead and put the eyebrows. So for the eyebrows, um, we're going to go ahead and make, well not make, but slip knot two bands together. That, and you're going to need two of that, one for each eyebrow. So I got one done. And then you're just going to pretty much place it wherever you want it to look. Or not to look, but like wherever you want it pretty much. So yeah. Wherever you want it, just go ahead and put it there. However you desire to have it. <laughs> so, we'll put that one there. So I'm going to keep mine like that, flip this inside out, and then I'm going to pull these bands through each other here, so I'm kind of slip knotting it, oh, other way, and 
that. Then what I tend to do is I just tie these here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these out a bit to fix them up there. Okay, now we got that done, we can go ahead and continue on the body. So you're going to need your turquoise color or whatever color you're doing for this part here. So. I have my color right here. And then you're also going to need your arms because we're also going to be adding in the arms in this row. So this row, which is row 10, is going to be single crochet around. And you should have 24 stitches by the end of this row. And we're going to be adding in our arms and stitches 5 and 10. So, yeah. <laughs> so switching colors to my turquoise here. It's 1, 2... Three, four, five. Grabbing my first arm. That was five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Making sure it looks good. So I'm going to add the other one here. And the rest is just going to be um, in your turquoise color or whatever color you're using. So now the next two rows, rows 11 and 12, which is two rounds, um, those, they're also in the turquoise color. So pause the video, do row 11 and 12 in your turquoise color, whatever color you're using in that color. So two rows of this color, and then come back when you're done. So I finished up my two rounds. Hopefully you are done too. Probably not. Uh, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> but yeah. So now we're going to do row 13, which is going to be single crochet around 24 stitches again. We're going to be using our brown color here. So like not the color you used for the hair, a different brown. You can use the same brown you used for the hair, but I'm going to use a different brown. This is the jelly burgundy, I think. It is. Yeah. So it's just single crochet around. So yeah. I'm going to just do this round with you because it's just one.
Oh, at undead. Okay, um, that's the end of row 13 here. So now we can go ahead and move on to row 14. Yeah. Moving on to row 14, um, again, still single crochet, 24 stitches. But now we're going to be using your pants color. So whatever color you're using for this part here, that's the color you're going to want to get. I'm using light beige. I think I said that in the beginning of the video. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so... We're just doing single crochet. C clip. Okay, so that's the end of row 14. And I'm moving on to row 15. Again, single crochet, 24 stitches. But in this one, we're going to be adding in our legs. We're going to be adding in the legs into stitches 2 and 8. So, 1, 2. I'm going to grab the first leg here. Three, 
four. the other one there. And then the rest is just going to be single crochet. Oh. So that's the end of row 15 and now we're going to move on to row 16 which is going to be single crochet, single crochet decrease to have 18 stitches by the end of this row because we are going to start closing them off. So we're almost done. So like I said it's single, oh. ah, there we go, single, single, and for your decrease, you're gonna grab the front loop of this stitch and then the back loop of the next stitch. And then just slide your band through. And then repeat that all around, so single. Single. Decrease. So front, back loop. Single. That single, so another single. Decrease. Single. Single. Decrease. Single. So now you should have 18 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stitches, like I said. And then now moving on to row 17, which is going to be single crochet decrease. So instead of two single crochets, it's one. And that's to get to 12 stitches. So single. Decrease single D 
Thank you, Grace. Single. Decrease. Single. Decrease. So I'm going to go ahead, so that's the end of row 17. Uh, now you're going to go stuff him, so I'm going to go off camera, stuff him, and then come back on camera. Yeah, so. so I finished stuffing him up. Um, so now we're going to do the last row, which is row 18. And we, we're going to do decrease around to get to six stitches. And then he should be closed off completely and done. So we're just doing decreases all around. Okay, then on this last decrease here, you're gonna do a, what's called a, a slip knot. So to pretty much close them off completely, tying that nice and tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and, oh, slip knot another band to this one here. That. Oh. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull this through the six stitches here. So. Um. So you should be going in through a total of six. But if you can't happen to go through a six, going through four will be just fine as well. Five. And then six. And then I'm gonna pull that once I've gone through all six. Now I can just go ahead and hide this. Get in there. There we go. So he is now done. There's nothing else to him. It's pretty much done. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to see more of it, to more tutorials like this. Um, yeah. So if you make them, um, make sure to tag me on Instagram um, or let me know in the comments below if you made him. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking if there's anything else I should say. No, not really. So, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. If you watch it, I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs>